What's up people, it's DevSage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about let and const. So what are let and const? Well, let and const are two JavaScript keywords that are used to define variables. So before ES6 came along in 2015, the default way to declare variables was to use var. So you might have var apple, equals apple this was the way to define variables in javascript up until es6 came out but with es6 came these two new keywords let and const so you could say let uh, me equals patrick or um, const num equals 23 right so these are basically substitutes for var but what's the difference between using var and using let or const? Well, the difference is scoping. Variables declared with let or const have stricter scope restrictions than var does. Let and const are both block scoped, but var is function scoped. So what does this mean? So Variables defined with let or const are only available in the immediate code block in which they are defined. And a code block is usually considered to be any code that comes in between two curly braces. For example, an if statement. This, any code that comes in between these two curly braces, uh, this, this would be considered a block. Or um, a switch statement. Switch something and then any code in between these curly braces this is the block or even a for loop so you can say for let i equals zero i is less than 10 i plus plus this would also be considered a block so the scope of let and const are the scope of whatever block it's defined in so let's take a look at let so let's clear this out and let's say we uh, created an example here. So let's say let x equals one. And then let's say we have if x equals one, let x equals two. So we're redefining uh, x here. And console log x, what x looks like here. And then outside of the block, of the if block, let's console log x again. So let's run this to see what happens. So let's say node mon index. As you can see, we have two and then one. So this first two here is actually this first console log statement here. And then the one is coming from here. Okay. Let's see why this is happening. Okay, so on line one, we're assigning x equals to one using let. Okay, we check if x equals to one. Yes, it is. We're gonna define let x equals two. This x and this x, they have the same name, but since let variables are block scoped, these two x's actually don't know about each other. They're considered completely different variables as far as JavaScript is concerned. So that means whenever we console log x here, this X is automatically just going to be pointing to here and it doesn't know anything about anything outside of its block. Okay. So that's where the two comes from. And now when we exit the block, the if block, we go down to console log X here and this X is looking at this X. Um, so since we're technically in the global scope and not inside of a block, it's just going to look at this X by default. Um, so yeah, that's how let is going to work when it comes to scoping. Variables defined with let are restricted to the current block that is defined in. The benefit of having these stricter scoping rules is so that we can lower the chance of any unexpected naming collisions between variables. So let's take this same example, but let's replace let with var. So 
let's say var x equals 1 and then down here var x equals 2 let's erase these and let's see what the program is going to do now okay so live reload so now it's going to print out 2 2 so in both console logs it's going to print 2 instead of 2 1 why does this happen well remember var variables are function scoped not block scoped so instead of only being scoped to the current block an if statement or switch statement for loop for example uh, var variables have scope all the way up until the function that contains it and in this example there is no function surrounding either x in this case so both of these x's are technically in the global scope so that means any change to x will be reflected everywhere in this program okay so i hope that makes sense so we went over let and the difference between let and var but what about const well const is the exact same as let when it comes to scoping both let and const are block scoped but const variables are variables that can only be assigned once const variables are read only so think of const variables as constant meaning if I wanted to assign this variable name equals to Patrick using const I can't afterwards go and try to reassign name to something else so I try to save this and run it it's gonna say type error assignment to constant variable so constant variables are variables that are not intended to be reassigned and because of its read-only nature constant variables must be initialized when they are declared so if I were to erase the initialization portion of this well this becomes a useless uh, const variable because I can't reassign it once I've declared it and you can see I get another error down here a syntax error this time missing initializer in const declaration because it's read-only and once you declare it you can't do anything else with it okay so now let's take a look at using const with object literals we can use const on object literals so we can say const person equals uh, name devsage and this would work perfectly fine and if we tried to say overwrite this person equals uh, name traversy media uh, this would give us an error assignment to constant variable um, but one thing to note here is the objects that are defined with const are read only yes but object keys are not read only what do i mean by that well i can't reassign person altogether but i can reassign individual properties inside of the object so i could say person dot name equals uh coding phase for example i could save this and that will be okay the compiler is not giving me any problems and if I console log person name coding phase so that's an important thing to note the object itself is read-only but the keys inside of the object are not read-only and we can use const on arrays as well so if we said const uh, numbers equals an empty array we cannot reassign numbers to be something else we have a type error but we can modify the array in that we're allowed to push numbers to this array so we do if we do numbers dot push uh, one two or i guess we can put in any number of things uh, one two three we're allowed to modify the array by calling push on it and if we console of numbers we get one two three so this may be kind of confusing to wrap your head around at first, uh, but the main thing to, to note is that const variables cannot be reassigned, but they can be modified. You can push new items or remove items or modify current items inside of the object or array 
you just can't reassign it. And that's pretty much it about let and const. Let and const are two JavaScript keywords that were introduced with ES6 that allow you to declare variables with certain scope restrictions. Let and const variables are block scoped, whereas var variables are function scoped. All right, I hope that makes things clear. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content, and peace. Thank you.